B-C-U-M-B-C-U-M-B-C. We call up with Dr. Valerie Ashby on the third floor of the student union practicing the school chant. There's no such thing as following Freeman Rabowski. You just, you know, you, you do the role as best you can. A role she's familiar with. The two have been friends since 2005 during her first visit to the UMBC campus to see the Meyerhoff Scholars Program. And I met Freeman there, and that moment on, we've been connected. He was a great mentor, um, such an inspiring figure for me. Um, and he looked at me on that first visit, and he said, you're going to be a president. Dr. Ashby will leave her position as dean of Duke University's Trinity College of Arts and Sciences, a position that put her in the spotlight, much the same way as her new appointment. I've been the first and only many times woman, the first person of color, the first woman person of color. I'm accustomed to only and first. Um, so it's just, you know, it's the nature of what the world is in which I live. Oh my goodness. Students who met the incoming president for the first time had their own first impressions. She is so warm and personable, and that's the same quality that Hrabowski has. I love her. Um, part of what made uh, Dr. Hrabowski so great is that he's so interested in the individual students and she has that exact same quality. That, tell me your name. <laughs> Dr. Ashby has so much energy and excitement and it's really very clear that she's excited to be here. I think that it'll be a great transition between her and Horowski. Um, you know, she's, she's like mom figure. Dr. Ashby officially takes over as president on August 1st. That's roughly 118 days from now. Now, as far as her vision, she says her vision will attach to the one that's already in place here. On the campus of UMBC, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News. <laughs>